So let's simplify this expression. All right, so 7 times 5, that's 35. So you multiply the like terms, 7 times 5, 35. Multiply each term, 7 times 5, 35. A to the power of 5 times A squared. That's A to the power of 7. C and B is A, so we add the powers. B to the power of 3 times B. This is really B to the power of 1. All right, so the base is B. Powers 3 and 1, so we add them. So 4, and that's that. All right, next one, p to the power of 3 times q square times p to the power of q to the 6. So multiply base p, p to the power of 3 times p. This is like p to the power of 1. So base p. You add the powers, 3 plus 1, you get 4. And then for base Q, you multiply Q squared times Q to the power of 6. So add the powers, so we get 8. You multiply, you add the powers, right? That's a lot of indices. Let's look at another one. So multiply, number times number, 6 times 4, that's 24. X to the power of 5 times X squared. You add the powers, right? When multiplying, you add the powers. So that's x to the power of 7 over 12 x to the power of 4. So now we are dividing. So the 12 into 24, that happens, that goes two times. So we have base x, and we have x to the power of 7 divided by x to the power of 4. What is that? In this case, you subtract the powers. So 7 minus 4, that's... 3, right? So the answer is 2x cubed. Another way to look at it, remember, remember from indices, x to the power of 7 means you multiply x 7 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So x to the power of 7, you multiply x 7 times. And x to the power of 4 means you multiply x how many times? 4 times. Four times. So what happens is that four of these x's divide into four of these x's, leaving you with x times x times x, which is x cubed. But we have a law that says dividing same base, you just subtract the powers. All right. Well, that's another way to look at it. So here we have another problem. So multiply first, so 3 times 4, that's 12. And then x squared times x to the power of 3, so base x, and we add the power, so x to the power of 5, good. Over 2x to the power of 4. So 12 divided by 2, that's what, 6. And x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 4 is what? So in this case you're dividing, so base x, you subtract the powers, 5 minus 4. That's 1. So it's x to the power of 1. So the answer, answer is just 6s. Or, as in the previous question, x to the power of 5 means you multiply x 5 times. Good. x to the power of 4 means you multiply x 4 times. Right? So, 4 of these x's Divide into itself, give you one, and divide into this, give you one, all right? So what you have is just x over one, which is just one x, right? So x to the power of five over x to the power of four, x. That's that. Here is another problem. 3m over 4p cubed, divide by 21m squared over 20p cubed. And this is the reason why I ask you to go and watch the the, the, the link I have for fractions and we'll get a better understanding so divide we all know when you divide by a fraction we can times and then we invert right we reciprocate the one on the right hand side so 20p cubed over 21m square 
And now we can do our multiplication. All right, so three, M, so three times 20, that's 60. M times P, that's MPQ. And then four times 21, that's what, 84? 84. And P, and so we have P cubed times M square. Let's see if we can reduce this now. Let me just bring it over here. I'll try and reduce this fraction here. They are both even numbers. They are both even numbers. So obviously, two can go into both 60 and 84. As a matter of fact, it looks like four can go into both, both numbers. Let me just... So we have MP cube. And we have P cube times M square. Let's see if we can reduce the numbers first. 60 upon 84, we can divide both of, both of these values by 4. That's 4 into 60. 4 into 60 is what, 15. And 4 into 84, that's 21. Now notice with the P. P cube over P cube, that's 1, right? So the P cube will go. Anything over itself is 1. So there, there will be no more, no more P cube. All right, so P cube. All right, those are gone. So what we have is M at the top over M square. And then can we reduce even further? We can recognize that both of these numbers are divisible by the number 3. So 3 into 15, that's 5. And 3 into 21, that's 7. Just remember, when you're simplifying a fraction, whatever you divide the numerator by, you need to divide the denominator by the same value. And then M into M, so that's 1. And then we have M squared here, so just so it's 5 over 7M. Because this M will cancel one of the M down here, remember? M squared is M times M. So what you have here, what you have here is really M over M times M. And what will happen here is M into M here goes 1. So we'll only have M in the denominator. So our solution is 5 over 7M.